Hey everyone, welcome to the Urban Palette Kitchen. I'm Chef Marcy. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and my video so I know that you see it and you know that it's no it's real, however that goes. So I bought these uh, jams from a Trade Street Jam Company. This is the Blackberry Merlot and this is the Sour Cherry Ginger. So today I decided I wanted to do a video about it. This let you guys know how they taste. Um, I wanted to be fat and I really wanted a reason to have biscuits. Voila, it works out. Biscuits, jam, boom, here we are. So I'm going to start with the Blackberry Mold Merlot. I am a big fan of uh, Merlot wine and uh, I like blackberries too. Hear that snap? Boom, they come sealed like that. Um, let me talk about the consistency. It's a little loose. You can't see. It's a little loose. Oh, it's definitely, sh I can, I can smell it. It's a little loose. Not what I expected. I kind of thought it would be a little bit more chunky. Um, here's my biscuit that I did not make from scratch. So, it's sweet. You can definitely smell the pungent of the Merlot. I kind of get a little bit of a citrusy something in here, but uh, here we are on my biscuit. Don't make a mess like me. I didn't add any butter because I didn't want to uh, dilute the flavor. You definitely got some uh, blackberry seeds in here. Don't <laughs> mind my face, it threw me off guard. Not bad. It says it has blackberry, Merlot wine, sugar, orange juice. I said something citrusy or sweet. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom. I'm smelling the cloves and cardamom. That's actually what, what I am smelling. Um, let me try it one more time because I'm kind of on the fence. Kind of on the fence. And I'll tell you why. All right. I know why I'm on the fence. Just flavor, just texture, and I don't like the texture. Just don't like the texture. Um, Cause you know, blackberries like um, raspberries. Sometimes you can have those little seeds. I don't, I don't like those seeds. Um, so that that little crunchiness thingy, not a fan. Um, yeah, not a fan. Cause that's what that is. Is the seeds from the blackberry. Um, it says you can enjoy this on cheese, yogurt, oatmeal, hot tea, scones, flatbread, salad, vegetables, meat, and tacos, and cocktails. But, um, it's not bad. Um, uh, I think the texture thing is what I, I don't dislike. I think the flavor is there. I think the color is very, very pretty. Um, but the texture of those little blackberry seeds are definitely not a fan for me. Would I buy it again? This particular flavor? I think I would. I think I would. So that's, that's what I think of the blackberry mauled Malone. Let me drink some water. This, this can be a little bit dry. So, this one is the sour cherry ginger. So, when I think about the flavor, I definitely think I'm going to get something spicy from the ginger. And probably a little bit more something that like, kind of get you here with the sour cherries. So, I shook it up a little bit. And it kind of gives me, I think it's a little loose too. So, you got to make sure you get that pop. The texture is a little different from the Merlot, if you can see. It's a little bit uh, chunkier. Not necessarily thicker, but just chunkier. So for this one, looks like I have some texture that, that needs to get mixed up. So I'll try it on this biscuit. Mm. 
We definitely got some sweetness there. I expected a little bit more kick. Sour cherry, sugar, lemon juice, ginger puree, vanilla bean paste. Mm. I would definitely prefer this one over the blackberry Merlot because I just don't like the seeds. But I do like the texture. I like the flavor. It's definitely sweet. You definitely get jam sweetness right now. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Once I get done chewing, I'll tell you guys where to find the sour cherry ginger. So make sure you guys go over to Trade Street Jam Company. This is the name of their website and follow them on IG. And um, they have a couple bundles. They have some other flavors and some other things on their website. But I bought this one, these two. Um, there's one more flavor that I think I'm going to purchase next, which is like a smoked peach something. So I definitely think I'm going to buy that one next. But I would definitely like the sour cherry. I, I would definitely have it on a scone or a biscuit, depending on where you're from. Um, make sure you guys follow them and follow me, Chef Marcy here. Follow my Instagram, Chef Marcy. And make sure you head over to my website to make all your purchases of my seasonings, cutting boards, recipe journals. Um, and look out for more content to come.